Inside Fatal Conspiracy is a game that makes you feel like you're playing an interactive version of the show. You solve cases along with the CSIs from the show. You find the evidence, you analyze it to find out what it means, and you eventually solve the crime. One of the reasons people watch CSI is that they get to go along for the ride and solve the case, and that's exactly what's been captured in uh, Ubisoft's game. One of the best things about the show is its production value. The cinematography is great and the choices are artistic. They never use white light, they use blue lights and green and yellows, and we try to do that with our lighting as well. Making a CSI game is all about immersion. We want the player to feel like they're in an episode of the show. Just like in the show, in the game, the crime scenes in the lab are where most of the action takes place. We took a lot of reference stills from the show in order to recreate the lab as accurately as we could. The CSI tools in the lab are a way of giving the player the experience of detecting, collecting, and analyzing the evidence, just like in the show. Well, some of the environments you'll find in the game are a burned out building, a construction site for a Las Vegas resort, or a mansion on Lake Mead. Little details like flies buzzing around a light fixture or safety tape flapping in the wind all make an environment feel more alive. At one point you search a burned out building. We have smoke effects going up and dust effects coming down just like they would in the show. I know that fans who write me about CSI really write with this intention that they like to involve themselves in it. And this takes them that next step to get in it. The game takes place in Las Vegas and the surrounding area. So if we find some plant material in someone's shoe and it leads us somewhere in Nevada, we need to make sure that that plant actually exists there. This flower is native to Nevada, but it's rare. The process for creating a character model begins in the initial design phase where we talk about who a character is. The next step is to gather reference material and do a concept drawing. Then we create a 3D model. One of the first questions we ask before animating is what does a character's voice sound like? The voice needs to fit the character. This is a setup, I'm being framed. Having the actual actors from the show voice their characters really helps the player to feel immersed in the game. I think it's magical, especially in a game like uh, CSI, to hear the characters' voices. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a shard of some kind embedded in the back of her left hand. I left it for you to collect. No one knows the CSI Las Vegas universe better than the story writers and producers that created it. This is the first CSI game to have an overarching story that develops across all the cases. There are so many ways to get to the final solution, and everybody's different. That's a lot like life, which I dig. Are you familiar with Beatrice Salazar? Everyone has a price, and I own them all. You get closer and closer to solving the larger case that you don't solve until the end of the game. That makes all the cases more interesting because it relates to the bigger picture. Playing the game is like being in the show. It's like expanding the show experience into an interactive experience. You get to interact with the same kind of compelling storylines that you find in the show. Playing CSI Fatal Conspiracy places you in the show. You're collecting evidence, you're finding out what it means, you're interrogating suspects, and eventually you're solving the crime.